Hey everyone, Michael Short here. Welcome to another edition of Let's Go Outdoors and a real pleasure to uh, welcome someone who hasn't been on the program for a while, Len Grant over at the Alberta Hunter Education Instructors Association. And this morning we're chatting about uh, a spring fling. It's, it's a big event that's going to be held in Edmonton in early June. And Len, uh, uh, I guess I'll just turn it over to you. Tell us a little bit about it, the purpose behind it, and and what you hope to achieve uh, in the, I guess, between now and the time the event launches. Uh, sure. Actually, uh, I want to uh, preface this by saying that a lot of people think that the Alberta Hunter Education Instructors Association is a government entity, and, and we're not. We're actually a nonprofit organization, and we rely on grant money and the kindness and generosity of, uh, you know, people who take our courses and donate to them. So uh, people often confuse us and think that we're government, but we're, we're actually not. Uh, so the the uh, spring fling was an uh, effort to try and have a good fundraiser in the north as well as in south where we do one in our Calgary office, and that's where the spring fling came to play. And so we put that on like every year here, and we hope that uh, people will support it and join in other people who have similar interests and help support conservation education because it's important. You know, you make such a great point right off the top. Um, you know, certainly as some as a as a kid going through the the junior high school back in the day, um, I took the 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 hunter education program. It was administered through the school, and and uh, you know, you get the badge, and then you know, Alberta hunter. So I guess people make that mistake. Uh, it it may be um, you know understandable where they're coming from, but the fact that you folks are you know you are independent um it having these fundraising events is just so critical for you to carry out um just a a wide range of education programs across our province yeah it's and i think it's really important you know uh, going back to what you said about taking in school those were important times um you know for a lot of students like yourself where they actually got into contact with something other than a TV or a computer game and and uh, realized really where, where meat came from. It didn't come from Safeway in a little package. There was more to it. Um, and so we, we have a bunch of programs right now that are, uh, you know, based on that premise. Um, and one, one of my jobs is that I'm the coordinator for all our youth programs. So we have, during the month of July, we run four weeks of camp where the kids come on a Sunday, register, courses start on Monday and go all the way through till uh, Friday about noon. And uh, they get their hunter education, they get their firearms training so that they can apply for a uh, minor's permit for firearms and they can get a win card and and start hunting. So, And we'll have about uh, 48 kids a week during those times in july so that's a really important time for us too and uh, if people are interested in getting their their children you know going to these camps they can all that that's available online registrations there and all that and we always look for volunteer help too so if grandpa wants to come with the with the grandson and be at the camp and give us a hand and give him a hand or her a hand it's much encouraged and then we in in uh, august we have something called the Outdoor Youth Seminar, which is designed for parents or guardians to come to camp and participate along with their kids in a, in, you know, in a vast array of different um, uh, sessions that they can, they, can, they can sign up for. And, so, uh, and that's about the third week of August. So that's you know, uh, pretty important stuff there as well. And these uh, these uh, youth programs are taking place out at Alfred Lake. And uh, folks, if you've never been out to this facility, it is, I I would say, world class. I mean, you've got um, bunk facilities for the for the kids. You've got a, access to a lake, um, state of the art firing um, uh, stations, uh, both shotgun, uh, large bore, um, and really everything and anything that is connected to the outdoors in an education format, uh, you folks are running it out there at Alfred. 
Yeah, you hit it right uh, on the head, uh, Michael, when you said that it was world class. I mean, it is. If, you know, people are there, they don't realize where they are. We're right in the foothills, beautiful part of the country. Uh, we're west of Caroline and in the Rocky Mountain House area. And as you indicated, we have a, a lake there and we have the canoes and the belly boats and all that kind of stuff for the students to use. If they don't have a fly rod, we've got a fly rod. If they don't have a spinning or a spin cast rod, we've got one. So it's all there. And then if you talk about the shooting range, we have 100, 200, and 300 meter rifle range. We have trap uh, houses. We have uh, four of them. Uh, and then we also have a 25 and 50 meter uh, center fire, so we can we can actually do handgun as well. We're certified for handgun, and there's archery, there's crossbow. We have 3D archery. It's uh, it goes on and on and on, and the facilities for people to stay, the cabins that are there. Uh, there's um, uh, 15 cabins that'll accommodate six people each in a cabin. Then we've got other we've got classrooms, and it, it's really a, a and we've got flush toilets, Michael, and hot showers, <laughs> which is a, a real benefit when you're there for quite a while, you know. Let's talk a little bit about what brought us here today, and that is the Spring Fling. Um, it is an event that um, I, I it is going to be kicking off, I guess, June the 1st. Uh, June 1st, yeah. Where are you at in terms of, uh, give, us, give us the details surrounding that event, Len. Okay, um, we've got a uh, process for uh, progress for getting uh, things for people to to bid on and, and all that kind of thing is really good. Right now, we're looking for more, but we're, we're doing really, really well. So anybody that would come to attend this, they're going to have a vast array of silent auction items. We even have an AHIA version of Plinko that's going to be there for people to try. And uh, they'll get to the whoever the winner is at the end of the night is going to get uh, a holiday. So that's kind of a cool as, as a prize. And we're going to have some specialty items where these are higher end items. We've got um, uh, a safari. We've got a thousand dollar meat processing for the, for, you know, the hunter that's out there. They can take their their game in to get it processed, made into sausage and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, we've got an $1,800 fish stoner, a real fancy kind of Garmin one, and so on. The list, list goes on for that. So there's a lot of things there to entice you. Uh, one of the more popular things, too, is the ladies like the balloon raffle. we got a $20 balloon raffle, and the ladies can win $200, $300, $400 worth of prizes. And so it's a good thing. But it may, mainly it's... Uh, it's getting together with with people that have a similar interest and you know enjoying the uh, the evening together and helping to raise funds for conservation education and you know some of the things we we that you hit on and, and that we talked about earlier so it's important and it's at the star uh, edmonton banquet hall and and it's in eastern part of the town easy to get at lots of parking and the thing is right now we've got lots of tickets available and we need to sell a few more which would really help out. Uh, and you can get those by calling our Edmonton office. And everything is available online as well. There's information about the event. And you can buy, you can buy your tickets right online as well. And tickets are how much, Len? Uh, $70. And if you buy a, a table of 10, it's 630 So it's $63. And it's pretty reasonable. All right. Len, uh, great catching up with you. Uh, best of luck for the uh, for the sale of the tickets and, and for uh, what sounds like an, a fantastic evening. Um, and we'll uh, look forward to catching up with you real soon to maybe dial in on some of the uh, youth uh, projects that, are, that you've got coming up uh, this summer. Sounds great, Michael. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And I just want to say that you're I follow your show all the time, and I, I really enjoy it. So keep up the great work that way. Thanks so much, Len. We'll talk again soon.